Hey everyone, so I found this uh, box at a thrift store. It could be a wine box, I'm not sure what it is, but it opens up, so we'll see what we'll do with we'll something interesting. I'm gonna stain it first, uh, this dark chocolate stainer like I did the Senate board, and we'll kind of go from there. So yeah, that's right, that. You can see everyone that I'm staining it now. So now it's gonna get stained and we'll finish it. When I'm done, I'll show you guys the end result of it when it's fully stained. We'll need two coats for this so it looks really nice and dark and we can put some hieroglyphs on it. Hey, Egyptology lovers, and now that this is dried, one coat, uh, you can still see some of the clearing from inside. Now I'm gonna do a second coat. You can see I started here. So we'll do a second coat, let it dry, and then we'll work on the inside. So right here, we've done the, uh, the outside area, the two coats, now we're gonna do the inside. All right. Just trying to make sure I don't drip anything anywhere. That's it. We're just going to do the entire box and then do a second. All right, here's our first coat in here. You can see it's uh, nicely done and the outside as well. So now we're just going to wait for it to dry. We'll just move it over to the side and then we'll do a second coat in about 20 All right, minutes. you can see now that the box is complete. It's been stained. So it's all good. Now we're just gonna wait for it to dry and then we can varnish it or veneer it to make sure that it uh, doesn't uh, get damaged or water damaged. Hello everyone, so what I've done is, this is the board that goes with that box. So what I'm gonna do basically is draw raw. I've used the uh, poking method in order to be able to uh, kind of get the proper outline. And once I've done that, I'll decorate a little bit more with a nice uh, naos or shrine, something from the uh, from the coffin text. So we'll see how that looks like. So stay tuned for that. I'll do a time lapse of it. <laughs> everyone so you can see now I've added the color so the next thing now is to just pretty much start coloring the rest of it and I'm gonna do a, a time-lapse for it so stay tuned for that So the Rei Horakti is done. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for the box here to dry so I can put it in there and then kind of gauge uh, how much space I have on the borders. So I can decide if I wanna do hieroglyphs, I wanna do maybe additional uh, glyphs on it. So we'll have to wait and see. Hey everybody, so now you could see that the board is complete. I was able to uh, slide that in like that. So it's nice and dry. So now that's the box right there. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'll add another rope over here, a darker rope, uh, something like yarn, and then as well what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, so now we're basically going to uh, veneer the box. So you could see uh, this is all pretty much done. I'm gonna varnish it so it's nice and protected. And I'll come back. Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna varnish now. We take this and I put apply a little varnish, and this is for protection. I use this for the Senate board. So this will give protection so from weather and it could stay nice and uh, good quality for many years to come so we're going to do that pretty much everywhere all right hey guys so i found this little knob here uh this is going to basically go here to open and close it so i'm just going to saw the bottom off of that right there 
and then I'm gonna screw it in so it uh, basically becomes the uh, the knob opening and closing button. All right, so stay hey tuned. guys, so the box is done. You can see here, uh, right there, and I'm gonna store my things in it, and I just put this knob on there right there, and this basically opens up, so you can see, and there you go. So that opens up nicely and closes nicely as well. So there's the box, the completion. Thanks for watching.